Hey, what's good, family? So in this video, I want to pass on a quick tip about an app, a utility actually, that I use quite often and find very useful. And if you're not hip to it, I think you will find it useful as well. So I know a lot of you are using Cthulhu to generate chord progressions using uh, one finger action which can be a lot of fun. But the problem that you may have run into, which I did, was that you want to take those chords that you've generated and maybe use them on another track. Well, you can easily just, you know, duplicate your settings on, on Cthulhu and just insert them on another track. There's one way to do it. But... You might want there might be an instance where you need to use the MIDI like somewhere else. Like for instance, in this track, I'm just generating a chord progression for another producer that asked me to do so. And I want to send him the MIDI data for him to work on, but he doesn't use logic. He uses a totally different platform. And I can't just send him, you know, these one notes that that Cthulhu generates the chords from. So what I need to do is send him the full MIDI file. So in order to do this, in the past, one had to set up some complicated thing using the IAC bus going into the environment window in Logic. And to be honest, I don't know if you've ever looked at the environment window in Logic. I've used to play around with it sometimes, but if I never have to go into it again, it'll be too soon. So luckily for us, this uh, brilliant developer has come up with a solution. Go to this site right now and grab this free download. It's called MIDI Effects Freeze. Now, when I say free, it is uh, donationware, and there you should support good developers. So I, I think I sent them five or ten dollars. You know, I'm a little little cheap, but I, I did I did send send them a, a, a donation because I use this app quite often. So, without further ado, how does it work? So what you want to do is, after your chord generator, Cthulhu or Logic's internal arpeggiator or, or chord generator, it works with all that. You insert MIDI effects after, after the uh, chord generator. And when you open it, it has a very simple interface with just a couple, couple of buttons on it. So how it works is, you take the part that you want to capture, you just put this into, into freeze and it'll turn red. And when you hit play on Logic, and when you hit stop, you'll see that this, this piece of information becomes populated and the MIDI data is captured. Now, all you have to do is simply just drag it out and put it on the track that you want to use it on. And there's my, my MIDI information that Cthulhu generated. Now I can just send this out to my producer buddy or just use it on another track as, as, as I've done here. And it's a very simple but useful and brilliant app that I think you should definitely incorporate into your arsenal. So once again, that website is MIDI, I mean, I'm sorry, audiocr.com. The app's name is MIDI Freeze. Grab your copy. So, yeah, uh, just one thing I also wanted to add, just a thought. I've, I've never personally been a, a brilliant keyboard player, but I do play, and I know my way around fairly well. But this uh, Cthulhu has made me somewhat of a lazy producer, and I've, I've kind of like, you know, seem to be losing a little bit of my keyboard skills just kind of relying on this thing so I think it's a it's a great tool to have but maybe it might limit you just to some re, to some regard you know still still play around with the keys you know it, you might you might miss out on a, a you know a chord change or something you know that's 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 not there so that's just my thought on that and that's basically it for this video uh, if you liked it I would definitely appreciate a subscription or a thumbs up and uh, yeah, so if you don't know, now you know. Thanks for watching.